Why aren't we able to get things under control? Dr. Naresh Trehan is back in the studio here with us. Smita Narayan, the director for the Center of Science and Environment, joins us on the OB tonight. Um, uh, Pratap uh, Channani, he's a cyclist. He was part of a cyclothon in Delhi yesterday. And I want to ask him how he managed to do that. Richa Pandey of the Ahmadmi Party is with us and Gopal Shankar Narayanan, senior advocate of the Supreme Court who appeared in the court in the firecracker ban case, uh, strongly making the argument that the court should reinstate the ban on firecrackers. Uh, but uh, uh, Pratap, let me ask you first. You took part in the cyclothon yesterday? Actually, we opted out. Oh, you opted out at yes, the last minute? Yes, so, because, uh, uh, you know, because of the air pollution level and we, we measured it in the morning and then opted out. But we did put on our masks. But you do cycle every day otherwise? Yeah. Uh, how I do you do cycle it? to work also. And how do you manage? Uh, we use these masks, N99 masks. These are the best available. But it has a resistance. So in terms of breathing freely, it's not that free. So you can't sprint and you, you maintain, you kind of reduce your speed. So, that so you can not... only cycle uh, up to a limit. I mean, that you're saying the speed has to be controlled. Yeah. yeah. You can't go to your maximum limit. No, we, we, cannot, uh, we cannot go and compete. Do you think this. it was a stupid idea to have the cyclothon at all, given the circumstances with the air? No, honestly, like I read about it and I was like, why are you doing this? Like who would do, who would exercise outside in this weather? Yes, that's true. That's true. It is pretty bad. And uh, uh, we've been measuring these PM 2.5 levels, you know, different points in the city. We even at times cycle down to the ridge, thinking that this is the green lung. And if you find the PM 2.5 reading um, around India Gate is 400, then wow. at ridge you'll find it's 350 or 325. That's, it's like uh, stabbing you it's with still a... It's toxic, it very toxic. It is highly toxic. Plus, I'm told by the IIT Delhi uh, Environment Atmospheric Science Department that few years back they have even detected number of 0.1 micron particles, which is, Dr. Tayon will elaborate, I, I suppose, more, which is even worse because they, I understand, penetrate your lungs and go into your bloodstream. So let me ask Dr. Trehan, what is this air that we're breathing right now actually doing to us at these levels of plus 300? I think what happens is when we talk about inverted weather, as the temperature comes down, as we approach the win winter uh, period, cold air gets stuck uh, down here till the sun comes out and warms the air though it can go up. So till that point, any pollution, any particulate matter, any noxious gases, they get trapped in that. So it's like a lid. That's why we call it the gas chamber. So what, what we ne really need to do is to say, what not this is temporary measure we're talking about 99 masks 95 masks all these things keep the children in uh, out inside don't do outside activities in fact the biggest thing was that every morning people used to go to lodi garden thinking that they are really getting fresh air out there it's, and it's the true, worst yeah. air in the world yeah. so now what we're saying that there is particulate matter which gets stuck in your lungs like uh, Pratap said that if it's less than uh, one micron, then it crosses the membrane of the lungs and then gets uh, accumulated in the blood. So these are all very dangerous things. I mean, we may talk about alert, health alert, health emergency, but nobody understands the gravity of the problem because we continue like this. We as adults have uh, less of an effect on us because we are at an age where we are, we are not uh, turning over our cells that rapidly, but the children are hugely exposed to nitric oxi oxide, sulfur dioxide, all these gases are more detrimental to the neurological system. So when they breathe in, not only particular matter which goes to the lungs, but also it, it permeates your bloodstream, goes to the brain and is So horrendous. you're in favor of schools actually saying no outdoor activity? Absolutely not. In and this I, kind and of we level. advise against the cyclothon also. You did? Yes, definitely. That we so you did think it was stupid to go ahead with it? Well, I can't say stupid. You can say stupid. But <laughs> the point is... You can say anything. The point... Yeah, right. Huh. No, but the point is that why push it? Yeah. You know there is a problem, but why push it? So, Sunita Narayan, you in fact wrote up this situation where the air is the way that it is. So, you slice it in three segments. Hmm. The first is the children. Children need to be protected extensively. And that means that you are going to do everything possible to keep them in an environment which is as pollution-free as possible for the peak hours of pollution. Because you can't actually... So how do you do that? Do you get so, them to wear masks? You know, then I'm coming to that. So 
those who are already affected by you know breathing problems asthma and all that which is all triggered by the environment they must use masks and minimum is 95 and 95 Uh, because the other masks that you are getting in the marketplace are not uh, not effective at all and like uh, this n99 is the maximum you can get but that's for like sports and stuff like that but those those children have to be protected because they are very very vulnerable then comes the adults who don't have any respiratory problems who are up to the age of 60 maximum 65 they must avoid it but they are not so vulnerable for today in the sense of yes they will get uh, catarrh and they'll get breathing uh, like coughs and stuff like that but they are not as an immediate danger but people who already have asthma and elderly population who are very prone to pneumonias yes. i think they need to be protected also so children and the older people the most and they should stay indoors till whenever the warnings are out that is it's worse than ever and use masks which will help and like i said during the hours when the sun is out in its full blaze that's the time you're the safest because the so air the mornings and the evenings are the worst definitely and do air purifiers really work well there are grades of them some of them will reduce the particulate matter effectively and i think you should use it and try to get the best with the best rating and even that like you said it's some of it is comfort a lot of it also is effective so i think one should use it no question because what are we doing the basic thing is one we are going to protect ourselves from what what we can but the larger issue is the civil society is idle yeah we are only talking about what did uh, this ipca do or what the government did or what the central government you can do the blame game people are dying forget about all there is no time for blame game you are saying there should be civil society activism out there on a daily basis it will become a political issue it will it will precipitate action immediately because if for nobody else for your elderly and your children and your children yes, here, if they have to live like this forever they are going to be severely stunted in in their age, in their longevity and also their neurological development you know what you said about civil society participation pratap i was actually going to come to that why is it that we as citizens are not able to make this a political issue force the political establishment to take notice of this as an issue i don't know if people are going to listen uh january in my colony frankly people burst crackers almost as much as they did last year yeah. so you yeah. know so it was yeah. really shocking yeah yeah uh, just two more things one is uh, for little kids i believe aims has come up with something called air lens which you put up your nose nano technology based and they say the resistance is five times less than a mask so that needs to be examined and uh, regarding civil society so uh, we cyclists from all over ncr uh, did a cyclo dna in january 2015 on environment health and needs served by a cyclist and the problems they face and all these issues were brought out okay but i don't think anybody listened yeah but i think it i think it needs a much larger citizen participation i'm i'm sorry i'm out of time tonight i have to i have to end it there this evening sunita and i all and all of you i'd like to invite you back.